So I'm gonna decide to do this in my car. We're at the dock today. We're gonna be shipping out later tonight. So I kind of have a little bit of time to do this. Let's quickly talk about what has happened thus far. So the hurricanes, they make a nice couple additions, get Gensel, they get Kuznets off, I think. Now, Kuznets off is more of a, a gamble in a way. Now, Washington, if I recall correctly, retains half of the salary cap through next season, or just essentially they retain half the salary cap, which is big. Uh, he was making $7.7, $7.8 million. And cuts that's off. I mean, if he can return even 75% of what he, what he was, that gives the Hurricanes an already deep team, even more depth. Uh, it makes them far more dangerous than they are, which uh, currently are, and which is a good thing. And as for Getzel, I mean, if he's healthy and he's playing well, that is going to be another great addition. The Hurricanes are building up their offense, trying to make it more prolific, and I think that is brilliant because they are such you know, a steady team overall with the system they play. They get a few good quality, they get some good production from those players. Or even if just Getzel's the only one that pans out, I think this is great. This is buy-in. And this is what Hurricane fans love to see, in my opinion, because this team has always been really well-rounded, always really, really, really well-rounded. And now they're trying to buy now. They're trying to win now. I, I love it. I love it for the fans. And for a team that has shown time and time again that they are good, but they're having a struggle, they struggle getting over the top, maybe these additions could be the few pieces that finally push them to that direction. Um, I'm going to make a quick note. Uh, Patrick Maroon, uh, he, he was also traded to the Boston Bruins for a conditional late round pick. Uh, Maroon was coming back from back surgery. He was out four to six weeks about a month ago, if I recall correct. So I don't think he's going to be ready immediately. Uh, my honest opinions, I mean, if it's a late round pick, I mean, why not? He brings toughness to the lineup. Uh, but, th but there's question marks. I mean, I don't think it's crazy to say he's, he's no longer in his prime. He's in his mid thirties. Uh, how much can he contribute if he can give you a steady fourth line role what Lucic was doing in the few games he played for the Bruins and he can kind of fill that role um, I'm fine with it gives a little bit more toughness uh, physicality and when in certain situations he can score as well so I'm not really uh, I'm not really mad at it I say hey why not you made an addition and you had a little bit more grit and toughness which I feel the Bruins have lacked they they've lacked a little bit of that jam in the uh, bottom six so um, if Maroon's healthy, I think he'll fill that role well. It's going to be interesting to see um, Jack Edwards and <laughs> Patrick Maroon have an interview. That's that's going to be the most interesting storyline out of all of this. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the trade deadline's live. Things are still happening. I'll probably make some more updates uh, when I can, you know, during the day. Um, but if the, this is all the Bruins are going to make, I mean, moves the Bruins are going to make, that's okay. You know, you add a little bit. You 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 fill a need what you what you need. I mean, yeah, you fill a need. Sorry, a little. I've been working since like six. A little tired. And as for the Hurricanes, I think the moves are brilliant. I mean, even if one of them, if Getzel's the only one that works out, I still think it's a. Uh, uh, I think it's a great idea to buy in now. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What did you think of these trades? What do you think of these moves? Who do you think won? Who do you think lost? Let me know your thoughts. I'm Paul from Luckroom. I'll see you in the next one.